guys, so I have been wanting to do another cooking video for like two months now, but every time I go to film one, something happens, and in fact today, um, the garbage disposal messed up, so there is like an inch of nasty water in our sink, but I decided that it has been too long, and so I am going to film a tutorial no matter what. And so, to, uh, there's a cookbook that a subscriber sent me, her name is Ashley, and it's called Taste of Country. And it's a cookbook that she wrote and compiled um, of lots of family recipes. And so she sent it to me, and I really have enjoyed looking through it. And this is the first time I've gotten to use it. So um, I will definitely be using some more recipes out of it because I really liked it. And so I've got my apron on that I made last week. And I'm going to be baking some cookies for you today. They are called Chewy Oatmeal Raisin Cookies, and they are so good. And so let's get on to that tutorial. The ingredients you'll need are butter, an egg, flour, brown sugar, regular sugar, vanilla extract, cinnamon, salt, baking soda, raisins, and oats. You'll also need some supplies, which are mixing bowls, a hand mixer, measuring tools, a cookie sheet or pans, and an oven. I'm actually making half of a batch of what is the recipe. Um, so I'm going to list the ingredient amounts and everything like I used it. So um, if you want to make a full batch like is actually written in a cookbook, just double everything um, and then you'll have a full batch. The ingredients are one stick of butter that's been softened, half a cup of brown sugar, a fourth a cup of sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla, three-fourths a cup of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of oats, and half a cup of raisin. Start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. In a large bowl, combine your butter, sugar, and brown sugar, Mix with a hand mixer until you get a creamy texture. Add the egg and vanilla and beat until well combined. In another bowl combine your flour, baking soda, cinnamon and salt and mix well. Add the oats and raisins, and then combine everything together. Drop tablespoons, or larger like I do, onto a ungreased cookie sheet. Bake the cookies for 10 to 12 minutes or until lightly golden brown. Once they are cooled completely, you can store them in your cookie castle or whatever you like to store your cookies in. Well, I hope you have liked this recipe, and if you make the cookies and you like them, then go to Ashley's channel and let her know that you enjoyed her recipe, and I hope everyone is having a great weekend so far, and don't forget that I will have a video up Monday, and you'll want to stop by and watch it to find out more about the um, scheduling changes and some upcoming plans that I have and things like that, and so I will see everyone then. Bye!